So welcome to another installment of the CSP Criterium. CSP stands for Colorado State Patrol. Uh, it's held on the, this race is held on the Colorado State Patrol track on South Table Mountain in Golden, Colorado. <clears throat> this is the Cat 4 or 5 race. And I believe there were 68 riders at the start. I may be wrong about that. It was a huge field. Uh, my name is Morgan Brown. I'm a 40 plus Cat 4 racer for uh, pedal. So we're going to do uh, 12 laps. That takes around uh, 40 minutes. It tracks about uh, 1.6 miles per lap. It's about three minutes per lap. So the first lap is pretty boring, though you do get a sense of just how big the field was. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let it run for the first lap at full speed, and we'll skip the more interesting parts. If you haven't already, um, I have the full full race in all of its 39 minutes of glory uh, posted on YouTube. I just like to do these edited versions to skip to the more interesting parts. So we're going pretty slow here. Um, it is into the wind. There's a wind blowing out of the north uh, most of the race. It may have switched from northeast to northwest. I don't quite know, but um, this section here was mainly headwind and uh, head to crosswind. So it would be a, almost a perfect triangular track if it weren't for this little chicane in the course here. It slows everybody down. We're doing 19 miles an hour, super slow. Um, I commented to a guy in, in this section, I said, man, this thing, this thing needs this thing to string out. And uh, little did I know that we would get very strung out later in the race, as you'll soon see. This is an uphill section. It's only about you know, one one to two percent in this section. We come around to kind of the high point of the course right here. And then uh, left turn downhill into the finish. So I got sick of sitting in the group, moved up. Pretty strong rider went off the front right here. It's obviously not gonna work. Um, I just go to the go to the right side and kind of sit there. I'm getting fully exposed to the crosswind right now. As soon as I pull to the front, I go right to the gutter. Little junior racer goes uh, off the front. I took one look at him. He, he couldn't weigh more than 120 pounds. I figured he wouldn't last very long in the flats and in the crosswind, so I let him go. I did the rest of this lap, another lap on, on the front. I wouldn't really work that hard. Um, the pace, honestly, was pretty sedate up until lap seven, and that's where we'll skip to. So here we are. We're actually at the end of lap seven, coming up around the final turn into the finish, into the crosswind section. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on up here. Either riders that have been lapped or, or more likely uh, maybe practicing I don't know there was a there was a women's group out there today they, they kind of split off from the main group um, there goes a guy on the left in the gutter so I decided to chase it looked uh, it looked like a pretty it looks like we had at least four guys to start with I decided to jump on this break see where it goes so kind of name of the game you can see here that as the breakaway gets into this group of lapped riders here, it creates confusion and uh, a big obstacle. So it's, you know, I guess all, all's fair in love and war. And uh, at CSP, if, uh, you can definitely use lap riders to your advantage. I've seen people get off the front that way and sneak around. All right, so we're going here. This group has some potential. The problem with these guys is they, they, uh, they just hammer it too hard. No organization. They're not very smooth. They get in the front and push 500 watts. It's like you end up just tiring everybody out. If they would just get on the front and do, you know, 100, 120% of threshold for 30 seconds and rotate off smoothly, we'd all be the wiser. 
So we got about seven, eight, eight guys in this breakaway. Um, not a very big gap, but it, it's strung out behind us, so it's got potential. We can just get organized here. Very disorganized. It's just, it's hard, I guess, with. I shouldn't blame it on the young guys, because uh, any group of riders that doesn't know each other in a stressful situation, it's kind of, it's hard to, hard to organize, but here we go, I'm pushing 400 watts just and I'm getting dropped. But I can see, I have a mirror on my bike, so I can kind of see that we were going to get, this, this brake was, it was just not going to, not going to fly, it was going to get caught. Interesting, you can see just how, you know, the chase group is, maybe 10 riders with a few stragglers behind that the main body of the group has just been decimated um i would say as we come around come around here this uphill section into the crosswind there's no way if the front group has any organization whatsoever if you're sitting there by yourself uh you are you are done so this was actually really one of the defining moments of the race um the break the break didn't go anywhere but um as you'll soon see, the, the group, which was, let's say it was 50 um, a minute ago, or two minutes ago, uh, really the, the main group now is only about 25 riders, and this group kind of went on to hammer the last uh, four laps in, into the finish. So we've come together. I, I can't tell if there are people off the front right now, but I don't think so. Um, we're not going very fast right now, but the group behind us is still trying to organize. Now they speed up. Yeah, I see some see some separation happening in there. It's a it's a deceptively easy looking straightaway, but man, you get a crosswind in here, it's just brutal. I think later in the race, actually, the wind kind of switched was a bit out of the northwest. So this was this was the cross headwind section. All right, coming up on the finish of lap eight here. Into lap nine. So this is when you know the first the first nine first eight laps really probably only average twenty five. 25 to 26 miles an hour in lap nine, we picked it up to 27, even though the group had shrunk by 30 riders, maybe. Um, kind of look in the mirror here. There's definitely it's it's definitely ragged in the back of this group. So this is this is it. That was this is the selection. And there it goes. You can see that the chase group is five to ten seconds back now, and they're not they're not going to gain. There's just aren't enough strong riders in that group. So I've split up this section. Laps uh, nine and ten, I just sped them up. 3x speed because really nothing nothing that I could tell happened um, these races are it's hard to sneak it there it's a big field and it's hard to see up the road there's always always riders up the road whether they're dropped warming up or whatever so it's 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 a good place to hide a breakaway So I sat really sat in for a couple laps after that after that uh, uh, the failed breakaway took it out of me a little bit. This is the downhill section here, moving pretty good. It's pretty cool. You can come around this corner here, and if you went on the right side, you pick up a huge draft right in this section. This is an uphill section, um, but you, you're easily doing 30 miles an hour in there. See, there's a group of women's riders. Pretty dangerous, actually. But luckily, it's an open course. So you got a great draft on the right side here, but you needed to uh, to kind of come over to the to the left side and the inside on this uh, crosswind section. I didn't do a very good job of that. I stayed uh, like I was always outside, always getting the force of the crosswind. I think it took it out of me. And actually, the winning the winning move I think went along this left gutter here.
All right, I'll slow it down for the last two laps. Really sped it up here on lap 11, up to almost 28 miles an hour, which is about as about as fast as it gets for the Cat 4.5. Um, this little group of 25 or so, we got really strung out, and they're just kind of holding on for dear life. There's some there's some young dudes out there, and I'm I'm 45 years old, so I'm not uh, I'm not feeling feeling as young as I used to. riders you can see for a pretty small group we are quite strung out strung out almost like a cat 3 field I had about uh, six or seven teammates out there uh, and Dave Hogue had cameras Let's see if he gets it up uh, Martin May this was his first race did pretty well actually. I think he lasted lasted seven laps. I think probably did it until that acceleration there. Uh, lap seven. It's pretty awesome for your first race. Uh, Robert Shoemaker races with me in 40 plus fours. He was out there. He's the rear camera now. And we had, uh, uh, geez, at least three or four women racing. Angela Pitzer, Wendy Segrist, uh, Lisa Found, some others I didn't know. I guess that makes about eight, actually. Not including the Cat 3 guys. Oh, John Dury. How <laughs> did I forget Dury? Dury's coming back from a, a surgery. So it's his first race back. Did pretty well. All right. Final turn. People going to the right. Mercifully, let's arrest it. Let's kind of fan up to the left and echelon, hide, hide from the wind. I'm pushing 300, 400 watts just to just to hold this wheel. So pace is, even though we're only going, not going that fast. Yeah, this is, it definitely turned into a headwind at this point. Believe it or not, a group of three uh, snuck away. I, I couldn't see him on the camera. I can see him on Strava, on the flyby. I think you, maybe you can see him up the road a little bit here. It's just, I need to mount the camera on the top of my helmet. You know what's going on. Those, those three riders must be really strong, strong dudes. They stayed away for two laps, even though we were, uh, the group was doing 28 miles an hour. They stayed away and, and uh, took a win. All right, there's the bell. Final lap. We averaged over 28 miles an hour on this one. So, uh, pretty stout. I had pretty good legs early in the race, but that, uh, that, that breakaway attempt really, uh, really took it out of me. I was, I was hurting by this point. I wasn't gonna get dropped. I wasn't gonna make a move either. If there'd have been a sprint, it would have had to, would have had to put on a platter for me. I wasn't able to really get good position for the sprint. Not super aggressive in this section, getting get bunched up a little bit. Well, I guess you're dialing it back. The sprint, smart, the smart money would have been Staying left right here, trying to stay inside in the crosswind section. Here I am again on the outside. Stupid! I just I decided to go. Decided felt felt like they might have gotten away, but I moved up too fast. Here I am sitting, you know, basically on the front, about to be exposed to the wind. 
I let a couple guys go in front of me to take it. I try and try to move to the left, hide in the wind. It's, it's hard. It looks like this side might be the one that goes, but these guys, these guys in front of me look pretty gassed. And, uh, soon enough, you'll see, you'll see the winning move. I shouldn't say winning. I shouldn't say winning. The winning move is up the road already. We're sprinting for fourth place at this point. There they go on the left in the gutter. So the guys who were able to save their save their win in that gutter. Yeah, and we're, we're flaming out over here. I don't I don't have anything left. Barely able to do 400 blocks. So I'm just hanging on for. I think they, they listed me at 20th place, but who knows? They don't really think this very seriously as far as scoring. So anyway, a little excitement. Had a big separation. See you next time.